Thanks Alex. So we're going to take a look through at some improvements at drawing level now. So if we just switch over to an open drawing here, we'll take a look. So the first one I really like actually, which is an introduction of a new leader type for balloons. So if we just go into these balloons here and we'll just choose that new leader type which is called the spline leader, we can see what that looks like on screen. So you'll see we get the introduction of spline leader lines for our balloons. And each of these is individually adjustable, so you'll see that they're using a style spline to generate, and it should enable us to get to those uh, sort of hard to reach uh, items that we may need to balloon. It also looks quite nice as well, I think, so it can add a, a sort of level of improvement to your drawings. Over at dimension level, uh, if we're dimensioning angles, for example, here, if I pick this point, I now get a manipulation triad here so I can pick an axis that I want a dimension from so instead of me having to create uh, any reference geometry like a sketch line or something I can now just use that uh, triad to position my dimension and you'll also see that we get some new right click options for those as well so we can say that we want to display that vertically opposite and I'll just tidy that up and position it next to that 150 dimension towards the bottom Revision tables have seen some improvements as well, so we now can add a revision directly from the bottom here, so I can add on my A revision to this drawing, and I'll just place my revision triangles down near the dimensions that I've added, and up uh, near these balloons just to indicate that a change has been made there as well. If I just hit escape, what we'll also see is that the zone column will automatically populate with where those revision uh, triangles have been placed and that's all to do with something that's new for 2015 referred to as zone lines so within the sheet format we can specify zone lines in a drawing uh, and anything that we place like a revision triangle can be cross-referenced to those zone lines within the revision table but it can also allow us to place uh, items like location labels for this detail view for example I can place that and it's going to tell me exactly where that detail view is now and it's also parametric, so if we move the detail view onto the second sheet, you'll see the numerical uh, sheet number at the top here changes to reflect where that detail view is. So a quite nice enhancement there to that system. Another area that's seen improvement is the dimensional rounding for dimensions. So here we'll see the 68.3, its real value is actually 68.25. Uh, and if we go into the options page here, and just take a look at the units for this drawing you can see we've got some new decimal rounding options here so we can round half away from zero, half towards zero, half to even or we can truncate without rounding so it should enable you to get the rounding style that you want for your drawings okay we'll just take a look down the bottom at this view here for, we might want to make some changes to the number of holes within this uh, arrangement here. And one thing that we'd find in previous versions is when we do that, that the centre marks become disassociative uh, with their circles because we've changed them, uh, and we'd have to recreate the whole set. But if we go ahead and make a change to this component, another new option that we've got is to open the part in its relative position to the drawing view we're opening it from. So here, if I open that part, you'll see it orientates itself to how it was in that drawing view, just meaning that we don't have to, uh, you know, rotate our model around to get it into that orientation. So we can go ahead and we can make the changes straight away. So if we just edit the position of some of these holes, I'll remove that one there, and if we just use our point tool, we'll add in another one here and another one here, like so. I'm just ensure that's on that circle. And if we exit out the tool, you'll see we've removed one hole and added two more. And we go back to our sheet, you'll see that our PCD circle is now uh, in its dangling style and we've lost the reference for this centre mark here. But now what we can do is we can say, we can right click on that and ask the system to reattach it to a different reference. You'll see then it pulls back the PCD for us as well. And we can also right click on here and add to a centre mark set now. So I can include my additional entity within there and we'll just populate and finish that off with some radial lines so some nice improvements to the center mark system there as well
Okay, so if we just look over at this note here, it may be uh, that we want to add some notes to our drawing, but we don't want to print those out or them to be published on a PDF. Uh, so we would probably have to hide them and then create the PDF or something along those lines in terms of a, a normal workflow. What we have now within the layer tool is that we have uh, a print option for each of the uh, layers that we create. So here we've just created a security layer that's set to not print. So when we view the drawing in SolidWorks, the note is visible. But if we were to look at the print, uh, the printout of this, then that will those notes will not print. So we could just choose to set this to that security layer, and then when we print that out, that particular note is not going to generate. So that's quite nice. We can now hide, uh, you know, our our secrets away from our printing out. Finally, what we're going to look at is sometimes you may find yourself moving views off sheets like so, and then when you click the F key, which is zoom to fit, you'll see that we now zoom to the extents of everything outside of the sheet, and it's it's not really ideal in a lot of respects. So we've now seen the introduction of a new button called zoom to sheet, which will then just zoom to the sheet, ensuring that we don't capture any of the other bits and pieces that are off it. So it should make navigating those large drawings with views off the sheet a lot easier now. OK, so we've seen the introduction of the spline leader style, the angular dimension manipulator, uh, automatic revision zones and the zone editor, new document rounding options, the ability to open a part in its position from the drawing view, uh, some improvements to the centre mark system. We've now got the new layer print option, and finally the, the zoom to sheet within drawings as well. Okay, that brings us to the end of session one, so we'll see you in another video for session two.